Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ala and this is the Olive Tone. Um, I wanted to do just a quick makeup look, an everyday look, um, something I guess inspired by fall. Today's been a beautiful day in Oregon and um, I wanted to, I mean, dry, not raining, even though I love the rain, absolutely. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I wanted to just do some makeup and record it and go from there. So for primer, I, I want to use up this Merit Serum. So I'm just going to use this. I just kind of squirt it into my hand because it does go everywhere. But if you kind of cup your hand, it's fine. It's manageable. I always, I always use a primer because I'm definitely more on the drier side, dry to normal, and anything that creates a little bit of moisture and ease of access for the, the makeup, then I will use it for sure. And I'm still working through this and I want to use it up, I feel like it's, there's not a whole lot left. And I just put one pump on my finger and just kind of dot it all throughout. Um, but yeah, that that one squeeze kind of took, um, well, not it didn't take a while. It like barely came out, so it feels like it's 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 almost wearing. It's almost up, used up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was going to say just for an everyday, very lightweight, because it can be built up to medium for sure, or you can keep it on the, the more natural, transparent side. I do one, one pump because I do like my skin showing. It looks a little less mask-like and it looks a little more everyday friendly. And I like my skin to breathe as much as possible because I pretty much do full glam on the daily. So with when I use a lot of products, I like to kind of minimize where, where I'm layering up. But yeah, so I'll just do, and um, the shade is in what does it say? I guess the bottom. It's um, B32. I don't know why that doesn't sound familiar. B32. I'll have to look it up. So these have expiration dates and and I've been using it pretty regularly. I'd say daily because I kind of dedicate um, a foundation and just kind of use it up, especially if the, it has such a, uh, a soon expiration date, then I'll use it as much as possible. And I'm using the Air Perez Arnica Concealer in Latte. And I'll cover up what I need to. That. This one's really creamy. It feels like skincare and I love those that feel like skincare because then it's, they sit really well and they're really dewy and so pretty and um, they don't feel thick. The only thing I think I noticed about this one is because it's more on the natural side, it's not as long wearing throughout the day. So if you don't mind, it wearing off by the end of the day, depending on what you're doing, then this is fine. I actually use it every day. This is my second pot. You can see it's pretty full. So I just started this not that long ago. And, um, and after that, I'm actually gonna go in with this, um, this highlighter from Lila B. I'm just trying to use it up because 
Like I mentioned before, the company doesn't exist anymore. And I don't really like the formula that much. It has a lot of white base to it. And it just feels thicker, thicker than I would like. So I don't like when it feels thicker than even the foundation. So I'll gonna use this up and that's that. That's the end of that. So now what I'll do is I was gonna use this nude sticks, wrong side. New Sticks Bronzer, and uh, I'm just going to draw it on that. Yeah, this is uh, looks really pretty. It shears out nicely and brings a little bit more life to the face, even though the foundation wasn't absolutely full coverage. It's just nice to keep everything a little bit more, more sheer, so products can kind of work well together. I do the cream highlight first, because it kind of just then sits really nicely underneath all the products and it looks more natural and it's really pretty it has that glow from underneath so i'll go in with um just a powder the shiny points i'm using i'm going through this little laura mercier powder and translucent and there's a lot, there's a lot in this little tiny travel size. I like travel sizes because it makes it a lot easier um, in my makeup bag. Because I have a pretty big makeup bag, which I love to take with me everywhere. And it's nice when you can kind of help it that not every single product is huge. So I just use the, any any old sponge and sponge on the tap in the powder but I do like um, a, a dewy base but just kind of in the middle area if you know you're going to be out and about or moving around the house then this part the t-zone tends to get a little more oily so yeah that looks pretty good and um and just to set the bronzer um i'm working my way through this charlotte tilbury bronzer and it's in uh in the lightest shade so i just I like the lightest shade, even if it's lighter than, say, other bronzers, like the cream bronzers, because I don't like it to add more color. I just want it to stay there and be put there and look look natural without it being, like, overdone. And I don't ever contour my nose, because... My nose naturally has enough contour. So yeah, that's kind of the base. And I was just gonna do, since I know for sure what lip combo I'm gonna do, I'll do the Makeup Forever in Anywhere Caffeine. And, uh, and then I'll do the lipstick in Nude Romance. 
by Charlotte Tilbury. This definitely has like a fall brownie feel to it, which is so pretty. I love catwalk, catwalking, catwalking, I think. That one's definitely one of my favorites. This one, if you want a little bit of a, a darker brown, especially on a paler complexion, then this one stands out. So I'm just gonna use my Korean brow pencil. I feel like this pencil just never, ever, ever ends. I've had it for so many years and it looks like it's going down, but it's not at all going down nearly fast enough. And with brow products, they're kind of, they're not the most exciting. So I just stick to what I have. And if it's working, then just kind of go through it and pick something else when it's over. Kind of like shampoo. I don't like to have anything beyond one type at a time. Just so I can get a full, full idea of how it works. And then with the brow gel, I'm just gonna use the Air Brow by Kosas. Still going through this as well. Just brush it to make it look a little neater. And I like that it's slightly tinted, gives a little bit of a gloss to it, makes it nice and clean. Yeah, and that's it. It's pretty quick and easy. And for the for the blush, I'm just gonna use this palette here. And they recently came out with another palette. Um, I guess it's a holiday palette. It looks pretty identical to this. So if you have any colors that look like this, you don't have to use this particular one but I'm just gonna be using this brown one right there. I'm just gonna use my same, same brush that I used for the bronzer. I like that there's variety in this palette, even though I, I like my individual blushes too. I've always, always been a blush person There. And then for, <clears throat> uh, for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use one of my Pat McGrath ones. This is Mothership 5, 4. This might be 4. Okay, not really sure. <laughs> I think I'm forgetting my Roman numerals here. Um, but anyways, it's the one that looks like this. I love this for the daily. I use this brown one a lot and this and the champagne. So really these I use a lot. So I think what I might do is just do the... Um, I might go with this green one here, this one. So that one actually looks really, really good by itself. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. Cause it adds like a smoky look. And if it's by itself, then it doesn't feel too much. But if you layer it up with like the other colors in the palette, it starts getting too heavy and if you're fairer skinned then and you don't like to make your eyes look like they're overdone then I would keep it to simple simple numbers one eyeshadow maybe two but with this it's so pretty just by itself and then you kind of get that 
you can actually see like the green comes through a little more but if it's layered with like the browns in there it starts to look more smoky and gray this is really really pretty And then I'll just use the same color and put it at the bottom. Okay. And I'll use that champagne color and put it right in the corner. There it is. So pretty. And that's that for the eye. And I like to finish it off with some eyeliner. Just the top. And I'll do mascara. try curling my eyelashes I don't do this often because my eyelashes even though they're not long they do curl uh, pretty easily with any mascara I use so it just does it on its own Still working my way through this Lawless mascara. It's the uh, Lawless, the one and done. Yeah. For a second, I thought the words had rubbed away, but it was still there. This is one of like like the heaviest mascara tubes I've ever ever owned. I don't really, I don't really like heavy heavy makeup. I know everybody is all about that, but I don't like heavy makeup, especially knowing I like to carry around so many things. <laughs> it's not really beneficial to my makeup bag. Okay, then I do the bottom because my eyelashes are pretty light, light colored or not light colored, but they're a little fine, fine haired. Okay. Okay. All right. And that, that is that. So I'm just going to take this spray. Kind of dry it off. I don't know what happened to my fan add my little fan there okay and then what I like to do after is um, I'm also I've definitely hit pan on this one and I just kind of like to go over with the so just a little bit more powder kind of mat it down a little bit again in the the center and this one, this powder is the nice, it's my favorite <clears throat> to do that with because whatever glow or shine you've got going on underneath, it's not at all, all covered up. It's just so, it's so pretty. It's so fine and, and, um, and just thin. It doesn't feel like you have too much. And that's the look. So I hope you like I hope you like the fall, kind of a fall themed, some reddish brown cheeks, a um, little bit of a nude, uh, medium nude lip, and kind of a, a green, grungy green eyeshadow. So that, I think that, that looks really nice for just going to the store, doing really anything. So I hope you guys have a good day, and if you like, my video. I hope you'll 
subscribe and keep following my videos. Have a great week, weekend coming up, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.